Hello, this is Bill Duggan. I'm here in Quincy, Quarry Hills Plumbing and HVAC. We just wrapped up an oil to gas conversion where the people had existing oil-fired steam boiler with radiators and an old boiler that sat right over there, right on this pad. It was a gas-fired tank-type water heater next to next to the boiler, independent, of course. They wanted air conditioning, so we took out all the radiators and the steam pipes and installed all new ductwork. Here's the Bryant 97% Evolution gas-fired furnace. It's very quiet, as you can hear. Here's the new gas line coming down. Humidification system. There it goes. It's a Scuttle. Scuttle 90 humidifier. This is the water line. Don't do it. Nor it's tankless gas fired hot water heater. There's the control for it. It's an NRC 111 DVC. It's a very good model. That's about as loud as this thing's going to get. That's at full speed. Still pretty quiet. Is it cranking? Yeah, but it's just going to go up and work its way around. This is a three zone system. There's a basement zone, which is this long loop right here. We cut some registers in because he's going to do over the basement. Oh, yeah. There's a return for it. Kept the duct, the flex runs to each individual room nice and high up in the joist as high as we could get it. Here's the main trunk for the first floor. The upstairs duct work was challenging getting to a supply and return duct. We chose round pipe to go up into the attic. As you can see, there's a carbon monoxide detector, hardwired battery backup. As you can see, everything was quite a tight fit. We wanted to keep everything in the mechanical room because he's going to do over the basement. There's all the water piping and gas piping. You know, it's tough because of the duct work. Three zones with the Bryant Evolution Smart System, dampers, control board, condensate pump. So they pull up and get at the filter. It's a good little system. I've done a few of these so far. And, um, you know, they do get expensive because you have to buy all the special dampers, the damper board. But it, uh, it's quiet. It's highly efficient. I don't know if you can see outside. There's the, the five-ton 17 sear condenser. There's the exhaust piping for the furnace, no it's water heater, just going to get that model serial number in there so you can register it later, I'm going to take a walk outside, I'll show you the condenser and the, and the uh, exhaust and intake air piping for the tankless water heater and the, oh, yeah, it's blowing good now. That's because they're on the end of the run. But this should be a two-way anyways. They shouldn't have a third. Yeah, but... Well, it's getting rid of that wall anyway, so it's better to have a third. You know what I mean? All right. Beautiful day out here in Quincy. Late winter, early spring. Beginning of March. Beginning of March. Right before St. Patty's Day. All right, here's the intake air and exhaust piping. You know, it's a necessary evil with high efficiency stuff. You can always use galvanized F&M rings and half inch rod and plates, knots, hard screens, gas vent below signs, two of them because there's two sets. More fun with bird screens. Intake air, silicone around. There's the Bryant 17 sear 
five ton two stage condenser. I'm gonna take a picture of that model and serial number so I have it later. Line side, disconnect. I lost you there. If you're interested in Brian Evolution heating and air conditioning systems, gas fired tankless water heaters, gas piping, plumbing, air conditioning in general, oil to gas conversions are a specialty with uh, ductwork and high efficiency boilers, anything to do with heating and cooling, you name it, commercial, residential, give us a call or visit us on the web. My number is, direct number is 617-939-3140. The website is quarryhillsplumbing.com. Leave a service request. Um, fill out all the fields and I'll get back to you within a day. Thank you.